Okay, we're doing uh, advanced on-demand work here. We've got seven minutes to do it because the battery's going to time out. <laughs> so you go to program 10. Oh, it was like a star RS or something. Is there any more RS button? Yeah, I would, for, for your calculator work. You told me, see what this. Mm -hmm. Program 10. Actually, for cancer tumor people, look at what you did. This is really decent graduation down to the lower frequency. So we'll start out with uh, 100 hertz, and you're going to find so many responses. And that's good. Right? So you're going to have to record these. You're going to have to write them down. So, with, and with Sydney, remember, it's. Let me turn this thing. You could do it with the applicator. You, you go to where the problem is. Okay. So, if, if, if the problem is the liver, you want to sneak this around the back a little bit. And mm -hmm. right. you can turn the other applicators off and you scan me. Mm -hmm. And you keep on, you know, hitting that and eventually you'll put it all into the calculator. And what the advanced high frequency calculator will tell you is how many reactions uh are similar with the higher harmonics and uh, with more workable frequencies. Because you know from the Hilda Clark book, the resonant frequencies are 400,000 or you know somewhere 200, 400,000, so you want to create the harmonics, et cetera, et cetera. But this is going to be the best way for you to find frequencies for the meantime uh, is using the admin. So get to cracking on it. Do you want to use this hand or this hand? Okay, let's let, let's start it again, okay? Okay. Even though. I'm let's see. Let's see. Let's and go to ten. ten. Yeah, go ten. Oh. Just like this. And. Hit right. This one. This one. Uh, I think you just hit right, and then. Just right. Yeah. Then you hit this. You hit the uh -huh. the star. And go to 100, because if you have frequencies that are under 100, they'll develop so many harmonics, you won't know what to do with them. It'll try to spit out you know, 10,000 different reactions in the high-frequency conversions. Uh, you want to actually do this? Or? Oh, take it off with yeah. V-star. Yeah. Don't start at point 0.1. Start at around 100. Like this? Yeah. Mm Keeping it specifically mm -hmm. on this one. Yeah. I, I did two before like this, yeah. Mm -hmm. You've gotten good as hell with this. What means? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're becoming really proficient with it. Oh, I feel it. This is line frequency, right? Like 400. No? No. 
times 380,000. And I think what Charbonne says in her patent is that it's 683.3 or 0.1 and something. I don't know. You can go to her patent. It's public. You might want to increase the intensity right away, too, to 10. That's, that's up to you, though. But it, it doesn't always take strong signals like that or the strongest. It's not so. How many frequencies? This is a lot. As many as you can. It's until thirty thousand. You could. But it's, it's going so much faster than it was before, so it won't take much longer. Good. So, mm -hmm. two, huh? 27 reactions with the fine graduation. All of these numbers would be recorded. Selfishly, I'm going to use these frequencies and try them out on myself. All of these will be recorded. So, pen. Mm -hmm. 